All right, so Nikki Haley was asked. I didn't know she was brown. <laughs> this whole time, I had no idea she was Indian American. Is she Indian American? She is. Her name <laughs> is Nimrata. I didn't know that. That was Nikki. Like Nicki Minaj. She whitened up her name so that she can get good credit. I understand that. I get that. I don't know. Makes I, made, I made that up. But, oh. so. <laughs> Lies. Lies of Manili. Uh, Nikki Haley was asked if America is a racist country. And she no. said, no. Well, come on. Come, hold on. Hold on. That's hold what, on hold but on, that's on, not what on. she was asked. Hold on. Hold okay. on. Uh, hold on. Hold on. on. Hold on. Okay. You got to let me finish it for okay. the clip. When Cute. I cut the clip, it got to be clear. You see what I'm saying? Cute. Go ahead. Okay. So, uh, Nikki Haley asked if... Okay, she was asked. Nikki Haley was asked if America was ever a racist country. And her answer was no. But then she claimed that she has experienced racism. What do you think about that? Well, I saw, the, I, I, I saw that she was asked, was her party a racist party? And she went, she said, no, is it, uh, America's not racist. We've never been a racist country. Because I think she kind of got tripped over her words. The hard part is she just doubled down. Everyone knows, white, black, Asian, Mexican, everyone knows America has racism and was a racist country. I mean, we it, everywhere was racist in, in a sense. So it's kind of like, yeah. We're racist, but I, I, she, 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 I don't think she should have doubled down on what she said. I think she should have corrected what she said. And said what instead? I said, yeah, we were a racist, racist country. People deal with racism. People deal with racism. There's, is, is, is we, is it, were we ever a racist country? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> were we ever a racist country? Yeah. Yeah, we were. <laughs> now, she, they didn't ask, are we still a racist country? Then that's that question. That's where we was America ever a racist country? We never. No, they didn't even asked that. She said America's never been a racist country. That's what. That's a statement she made. Not a question to. Not not an answer to a question. She just made that statement. America was never a racist country, and that's just a lie. That's just a lie. Is America racist today? I think there's pockets pockets of racism. Uh, I think there. Are, I don't think there. I, I don't think that there are the same protections. For a lot of different groups, and you know, racism is not just with uh, black folks, right? You know, you get black, Asian American, you got indigenous people. So that question, I think, as a whole, I don't think we're trying to be as a country, or the country is trying to be, if you say as a whole. But I do think, yeah, there are definitely pockets of racism, and a lot of different areas all over the country. <laughs> And it looks it looks different per person, you know what I mean? You can have we can we're both because being being a person of color is not a monolith. Like we don't have the same experiences, we don't like all the same things and all that. But and we will have different experiences. There are some people that claim to never experience racism, and they're my age. Me, I I, I have experienced it. So in in my worldview, yeah, I've experienced racism in America. So much so when I went to London. And I, I always say this, and this is why I love being in London, because I felt like an American and not just like a black person. And here, it, because I feel like, uh, I don't feel, I feel less of an, America, uh, of an American in America than I do overseas. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. And, and I, I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that answered the question or not. Well, we're going to get back to the London point. But... Ooh. I think when, I think after Nikki Haley says something like America has never been a racist country or uh, the Republican Party is not a racist party and then people freak out because they want her to say, yes, it's a racist country, it's a racist, hold on one second, it's a, it's a racist, it's every, it, and it's like, well, she's a politician, number one, okay? If, if you just immediately say it's a racist country or a sexist country or this or that, you, it's like saying you have 10 members of your family and three of them are drunks. It's a drunken family. Yeah. It's kind of a difficult thing to say because, uh, yeah, you have to kind of understand that within an environment and within a nation, there are acts of racism. And it's not hard to understand. But does that mean that the entire country is racist? 
I, I can understand when somebody says, no, I don't think so. Kamala Harris said that it's not a racist country. Plenty of people have said it's hey, not. Yeah. But when we freak out, and we do this every four years, now we freak we out every four years, they get donkey of the day. And what do you want them to say? You know, if she's a woman who's running for president, Nikki Haley, she's running for president, do you think she wants to go down the path of campaigning on her being a woman or a victim? No, she's she wants to be as strong or as confident or as charming or as charismatic as the men are. In fact, if it's possible, she would appeal to the women, but kind of strip away the fact that she is a woman so that she can appeal to the yep. masses. That's what the president is here for. Famously, Obama once said he's not the president of... Black, black people, people, he's not the president of white people, he's the president of the whole damn country. So what do you expect them to say? There is no politician on earth who's going to win and also claim that this is an evil, terrible country. What they might say is there are acts of evil that happen in the country. What they might say is they're, we're going down the wrong path. But they're not going to say, for the sake of their own belief in the country, yeah. this whole thing is terrible. If it's terrible, stay away. I think there are... And, and racism is not always intentional. It's, it's not something that people always intend to do. Sometimes it is. Uh, Carmichael show, uh, <laughs> they made a joke about, oh, I wish uh, 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 private racism or like microaggressions can be worse uh, than racism, than like in your face, and then uh, he was like, "Nah, I've been through in your face racism. It, it's pretty bad." <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't land that joke, but whatever. But it's kind of like there are in in places of leadership, there are people that I think are racist. I think there are people that are homophobic. There are people that are sexist, and I think that's going to be people. Sometimes it, it, when it's in um, a place of power, it feels like it waits a little bit, uh, it waits a little bit more. But I totally agree with what you're saying. I mean, most of this country, I think, what is white? Seventy-five point so, five you know, percent. Right. You have to appeal to that base because that's the majority when it comes to, you know, the questions, the the answers that you uh, have to a lot of these questions. And to be frank, racism makes white people uncomfortable. You know what I mean, and no one wants to. No one wants someone to lead lead our country. In a sense, talking shit about it. This is true. So it, I agree, I, yeah, I agree with what you said. Yeah. I, I think you know she. They still do dunk of the day. They made her dunk of the day. Yeah. And I don't like the over. I don't like the overreaction to everything. Like I, it's just, it's just everything gets blown up. It's so dramatic. Everything gets so dramatic. It's like it's. It's, it's gonna it's, if it's Trump nothing. wins again, it's gonna be over dramatic central. Cause just it's think been about it. Since Trump won. Sure. <laughs> but don't <laughs> talk about him every day. Think about it. When Trump just said, "I'm gonna be a dictator for a day, so that I can drill, baby, drill, and I can close the border." People just heard, "I'm gonna be a dictator for a day," and it's like, oh boy. There's checks and balances. Like. It's, he, it's like, it's kind of rough to listen to because you can tell people are just like looking to be upset. They're yeah. looking to be angry. And look, man, if you don't like the guy, great. But just kind of tailor what you what you outpour, uh, um, you know, for your, own, for your own health, man. Anyways, uh, moving on. 